Score MBA. Boy, they got a good one there. You back up, I'll grab right. Uh, yeah, if you just if you just pull out, I'll back right up to it and grab it. to nacelle this gal was coming it looks like they were coming down here to go fishing and uh it's a little 05 uh gmc canyon they were coming down here to go fishing and the little black car over here from what i gathered was under the influence of alcohol at five o'clock in the morning possibly allegedly had a report of over 100 miles an hour, ran a stop sign off the North Valley Road onto the state highway and pulled out in front of the GMC. And how this guy survived, I don't know. He, uh, they said he did shatter his left foot. Dad took the jaws to get the door off to get him out of the vehicle. But it's a, a late 90s Nissan 300SX. And it's a, these things are little race cars, but... How he survived that, I don't know. You can see where they had to cut the rocker and 
they had, I don't know, it looks like they just blew the, looks like they just used the jaws and blew this door right off the car. So, he's alive in the hospital with a shattered left foot. And he'll be getting a, probably a vehicular assault, more than likely, because uh, being inebriated and running a stop sign like that, he, he should get a vehicular assault. Uh, it's crazy driving like that. So this is the car that rolled over yesterday at the Chinook, or actually Friday at the Chinook Tunnel. It was a one car MVA, but in the process of this vehicle rolling over, it backed up traffic and this gentleman in the Jeep didn't see the car in front of him stopped at the Chinook Tunnel. So he, rather than rear ending the car in front of him, he swerved over and this car was coming out of the Chinook Tunnel and he hit it left fender to left fender and tore the suspension off both vehicles. That was Friday.